Hello and welcome to Blue Zone. Uh, in this video we're, we are going to cover body lasing. Uh, body lasing is used to uh, when you're in a team of two and you want to bomb a specific target and essentially one person does the lasing and the other person does the bomb dropping based on your laser pointer where you're pointing it. There's numerous scenarios where you would need this. Uh, one would be you don't have the weapon needed or one of the two of you has visibility on the target and the other doesn't. And there's a multitude of scenarios. Let's get the objectives out of the way. We're going to learn how to do buddy lasing. Uh, so we're going to buddy laze. We're going to create a laser uh, target for our buddy. And our buddy is going to create a laser target. And we're going to acquire it and drop bombs on it. Why do we care? Very useful, as I indicated earlier for numerous scenarios where you may not have visibility over the target or simply don't have the, the weapons, you're, you're out of weapons altogether but you see the target. Now let's uh, get some terminology out of the way. The AT FLIR is your advanced targeting FLIR pod and that's what you use to do targeting with. Inside the AT FLIR there is two components, the ZLTDR, Laser Target Designated Ranger, uh, it does it does the designation and the ranging, and you have the LST, which is a laser spot tracker. The LST you can think of it as a uh, the one that will find the laser, the listener. I guess it would be a good way to remember it. So th the status indication that we get, you're gonna see LTDR flashing. That means that every time you see LTD flashing, that means the laser is firing, and if it has an R in it, it's providing range as well. If you have LTD flashing, the laser is firing, but no range is available. If you have LTD steady, the laser is in standby, so that's just before you're firing the laser, that's what you should see. And LTD crossed out means the laser is de-armed, so you may not be on air to ground, you may not have your switchology done properly, so you need to look at your symbology, make sure everything is on where it's supposed to be. And L-arm, laser is arm ready to fire. So that's what you will see in the display and we'll see this on the plane. And the laser fires automatically when you launch, when you do your own weapons and you, you, you pick all and what have you. But uh, when you do buddy lasing, you want to use a trigger so that you turn the, the laser on and then you indicate to your teammate that uh, you, you have the target acquired and you're lasing. And this way, he knows he can drop the weapon once he has acquired this uh, laser. And mask. Finally, uh, when the laser is going to be obstructed by your airframe, whether you're turning or, or what have you, and no longer has the, uh, the target in sight, or it's being blocked for whatever reason, you'll see mask. At that point, you'll have to reacquire. Okay, so many requirements. Both planes must carry a targeting pod. If you want to listen, the other one to set the target. Both planes must use the same laser code. That's how, it, uh, that's how you pick it up. It listens for a specific uh, code when it picks up a laser. And uh, the pilot drop in the ordinance must have a laser guided weapon. It stands to reason if you don't have a laser guided weapon, it's pointless. And the proper avionics configuration must be on for it to work. So, like I said, you have to have air to ground, you have to have your FLIR on, you have to have your uh, LTDR on, you have to have your LST on, depending on what you're doing. Here are some of the requirements. There's a symbology, the, the switchology, I should say. As indicated, the FLIR should be on, the LTDR on, the LST uh, FLIR should be on, air to ground should be on. You, I don't believe you. I don't think you have to select. You do not have to select a, a weapon for it to work. I've tested that. I'm not sure if the master arm is required. Maybe we'll check that in the plane. So this is what it looks like, and you'll notice here that uh, on this floor display, I have a target acquired. And if you look at the towards the top of the screen, you'll see L arm. That means the laser is arm ready to fire, and Above it, you'll see the amount of degrees, so the target is to 24.5 degrees to the left of my, my uh, targeting pod, which is uh, set on under the plane facing the nose. 
Another important thing to see is on the right hand side you have trig which stands for trigger. I have that boxed. That means that uh, the only time that laser will fire is when I hold the the trigger, the same trigger you would use for your gun. But once you have that enabled, it won't fire guns. So just uh, highlighting what I uh, just spoke about. And at this point here, you see LTDR. Obviously, this is an image. You don't see it flashing. But in this case here, it's uh, you'll see in the plane, it is flashing and the, the target is being lased. So if uh, my teammate has the same laser code as I do, he should be able to pick up my laser and drop a weapon or ordinance on it. Let's go and blow some stuff up. Okay, so we are now flying with my trusted uh, wingman, Skyspin. We're going to take a look at our symbology and make sure that we're all set and ready to go to do our lazing. So I do have my, uh, we're fenced in, I have my air to ground uh, selected. I've got a master on. I have my FLIR, everything is up. My FLIR, my LTDR, my LST. And I have my first display. I have my LTDR here, and notice that it's crossed out, which indicates that it's ready to go, but it's not firing yet. So we are getting close to the target, and we're going to go hit our target at the waypoint five, and we'll raise for sky spin. Okay, so we're on our way to the target, and we're about uh, 37 miles, 37 and a half miles from the target. You'll notice that my master arm switches off. It does not have to be armed in order to work, but you do need the air to ground to be enabled. Now the first thing is, uh, oh, buddy lock. The first thing we have to do is make sure we have the same code as our laser buddy. He has 2101, you'll notice here, I don't know if you can read it, but it says uh, 4444. So I'm going to change that code by pressing the USC button and entering the code in the USC panel. 2101, enter. Now you'll notice the code does not change right away, it's slow, but it does go through it, and now we're set. So now I should have the same laser code as Sky Spin, and it should be able to pick up my laser once I start firing. Now notice that my LTD is, is crossed meaning that it's inhibited, it's not able to function. So I will set up a target at my waypoint. The first thing I'm going to do is target so I have a good reference point here. Okay so I have a target designated and now I'm flying towards the target and I'm at 31 miles. Now the first thing I'm going to do is uh, give us a good chance to look at what it looks like. I'll zoom in to 2. I'm using ALG so it sets the levels for me. And perhaps we'll cover that in another video. And the field of view I'm going to go to near. So that gives me the, the most uh, zoom view that I can get. And we're not seeing much of our target yet. And we're going to wait till we get closer. Now, the one thing that we need, if you'll recall, in order for Skyspin to pick up my laser, I need to hit the, uh, the same trigger that we use for guns to fire the laser. And in order to fire the laser that way, we need to press this button here that's right next to Trig, which stands for Trigger. Now, we are ready to fire our laser. We see here the laser is armed and based on where we're going we're flying straight to it. There's a very little uh, difference uh, between the targeting pod and the target. Now with that being said you probably do not want to fly right at the, at the uh, target. This way you have a longer time uh, lasing and giving uh, your buddy a chance to acquire the target. So as I reach around uh, 18 miles or so, I will start turning and kind of try to maintain that laser pointer at, uh, around the same angle 
to give myself uh, maximum time of lasing so that the uh, sky spin can be successful acquiring the target and dropping bombs on it. So we are at 21 miles and we're starting to see a little bit of the, what the target's going to look like. And if you look at front, we're going to be dropping in this area here, this range. I'm going to turn a little bit here to stay near the target. And we're approaching 18, so I will give myself some angle with the target. Now bear in mind we are still getting close to the target. Now notice how the, the view is starting to get clearer. So I have about uh, 28 degrees. Now we'll uh, start adjusting my target. Put the diamond into the lefty DI. That's this uh, thing up here. And now it allows me to move the TDC to adjust where I want my targeting to go and designate. So now we're designated on this point here. We'll wait till we get a little bit closer to really see what it looks like. My angle is at 29. I'm still pretty good. I'm going to get, uh, leave it around the 25 degree range. So this here is a good altitude. Now you see, I start to see the target here. So let me realign. Now designate. And I will press the trigger to fire the target. And I just did a little bit more. And while you have the trigger press, you can still adjust the, 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 the target. Lead is lasing target. Now I'm lasing the target to see how the LTDR is flashing. And while I'm still holding it, I am still adjusting my aim. Okay. Now we're waiting for Sky Spin to acquire the target and clear him to engage the target. Now I'm at about 29 degrees. I will turn a little bit to keep it on the 28. Now as we get close to the target it will change pretty quickly so we need to pay attention. Target upon. Clear to engage. Roger, clear to engage. So now all we have to do is hold that trigger and fly that angle and try to keep the target lazed until he gets hit. I'm probably being a little bit picky here reacquiring and changing the target but I just want to demonstrate but you can, uh, you can do it until the bomb hits. So you heard the bomb release. So now it is uh, the bombs on the way. We should see a nice uh, bomb hit pretty shortly here. And notice how the degrees are starting to increase. So I keep uh, pitching to get what I need here. There we go. And we have a shack. Good job, Sky Spin. So now I will set up for the next uh, the next uh, target, where I'll show how to acquire the laser, and we will uh, go go through the same exercise. This time will be the ones actually uh, getting the target from the laser. Might be hard to see, but we still have the same code that we had before, which matches what Sky Spin has. And Sky Spin is going to be lasing the target and we'll pick up that track we will designate that track and then we'll drop bombs on it now you'll notice in my HUD you see the bomb reticle is flashing I have no target designated so once I pick up the laser track from his uh, lasing I will 
make sure the diamond is in that DDI and uh, hit designate which is the enter key and that will actually send command steering to uh, the bomb and then we'll drop the bomb and see what happens so we're at 20 miles from our target the target area and uh, we'll wait for Skyspin to laser target for us and let us know when this when it's lazing. Nice steady lead there, Skyspin. Thank you. Makes it easy to uh, to fly formation on you. Okay, we're 16 miles away from the target. Fifteen miles, we are getting close. Fourteen miles. Okay, we are 12 miles. Eleven miles, we're getting close. Okay. Target. Roger. Target acquired. There to engage. Designate target. Now as you can see I just designated the target. And the target is in my in my HUD you see the bomb is actually seeing the target. So now all we have to do is fly towards uh, the target and pick all the bomb and it should uh, drop it right on, on the target. Okay, so release in 25 seconds. Seventeen seconds. We should see the drive there's a drop line holding the pickle. Bombs away. Okay, let's watch our FLIR and see if we hit the target. And we have a hit. Lead break left. Left break. Now let's take a look at uh, our target. Let's see. See what it looks like. And we have a nice hit on the target, right in the center. Perfect. Okay. Oh, I'm getting dizzy here. Altitude. Altitude. So this is it. That's all you have to do to actually lays a buddy lays a target and pick up a target that's being laid for you if you like the video please subscribe and click like and more videos to come and enjoyed it had a great time talk to you later blue out <laughs>